Major changes are needed and major changes are being made. Welcome back, guys, to the FIFA 23 Hearts Career Mode. It's episode 14. We're in to the new year. It's January 2023. Hopefully, 2023 is better than 2022 because 2022 was pretty shit for us. We find ourselves 10th in the table, but we can turn it around here. It's a new year. Can it be a new Hearts? We're going to find out. There's also going to be new rules. I've decided to turn the handball off for penalties. The reason why I've done this is like I like realism. I like the fact that if it hits someone's hand then a penalty will be given. My problem with the handball rule in this game is like 50% of the times the referee gives a penalty. It's not even touched his hand. It's nowhere near his fucking hand. So it's not like his own. If it, it would be different I could almost forgive it. If it was like given a penalty for every time the ball touched the player's hand, you'd be like, that's fair enough. But there's so many occasions where penalties are being given and the hand is nowhere near the ball. I, I just can't be doing that. And now, I think it's affecting us negatively. I'm not sitting here saying that the AI get more penalties than I do. Because I, I would say it's about equal. I, I would say it's about level. The only difference is I think the AI probably score more penalties than I do. Therefore, they benefit from it. But where I think... The handball rule is fucking us right over, is um, me not defending you. I'm consciously not defending properly because I do not want to risk giving away a penalty. For example, if someone's coming in towards the box and they're going to try and get a shot away, unless I am right beside them, I am trying to avoid blocking the ball because I don't want the ball to hit my hand. When there's a corner kick being whipped in, Unless I have a player that can freely challenge the ball and, you know, win the header, then I won't go for it. If, I, if it's a 50-50 ball where I know my guy might use his arms to, like, out-muscle someone, then I will subconsciously not go for the ball because I do not want to risk my guy putting his hands in the air and giving away a penalty. So, if you've noticed, we have considered quite a lot of corners this season and I think that's the reason why because I am purposely if I see a, a ball that I think is 50-50 instead of risking jumping for it and potentially giving away a handball I'm kind of just allowing the opposition a free header and they seem to be good at free headers they seem to be good at putting the ball in the back there so yeah we have changed that and I th I'm hoping that will make a, a small difference I'm not saying it's the reason for us being in 10th I doubt we're going to go and start beating teams 5-6-7-0 just because there's no penalties for handballs anymore. But with that said, I do think it could make a slight change for us. I think it could improve us slightly. And it was just too much. I mean, come on. There was games where there was like four or five penalties a match. And yeah, we don't need that shit. So it's been turned off, guys. So anyone that says turn the penalties off, don't worry, I've turned them off. Now, I have kept handballs on for outside the box. So that will still, you know, play a factor. But inside the box, it's only going to be fouls that, you know, result in penalties because I have turned off the handballs. But let's look at our inbox. So I've got some bad news, and that bad news, well, I'm going to call it bad news, but I guess you could argue we never really played them. Humphreys has been recalled, so Stephen Humphreys wasn't loaning us, he wasn't really getting the game time. Wigan apparently sent us an email that they wanted him to play more. I overlooked that email, that email never got read by me, and now all of a sudden they have, um, you know, no, they've recalled Stephen Kingsley, Kingsley, and that leaves us a striker light. So now we have Shanklin, Boyce, and uh, young Ewan Henderson, so who knows? But we are in January, we could fix that problem, we could bring in a player. Uh, I will look at some players and then I'll put it up for a vote. I'll put a couple of polls up on the channel. And then uh, you can maybe vote on the next player that is going to join us. I personally am a big fan of Joel Newbley from Livingston. He is someone that I am currently in the middle of scouting. And if he seems good enough for this level, then I believe he is someone that we might go after. But again, you know, just because he's really good in real life, in my opinion, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be rated high in FIFA because he don't tend to necessarily get it right, especially with leagues they don't really care for. And we can tell over the last, what, decade, they certainly don't care about our league. So, yeah, a shame to see Humphreys go. I was actually going to start using them more. But uh, I guess that now that option is out of our hands. So, Stephen Humphrey is back at Wigan. 
transfer market's opened, hungry or no longer hungry for us to be the only manager. I've got no complaints with that. And uh, Peter Haring has had a transfer offer withdrawn. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much all the news in terms of player chat. Devlin, I'm hoping you can get me back. Yeah, you're a big player for us, Cammy. Don't worry, you will be in the team. So you're, you're a big, you've earned your place in this team, son. Do not you worry. Yeah, don't worry, mate. You're, you're in. I hope you don't mind me. Uh, they're a bit worried. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Craig. We're going to start turning it around. I promise you. This is it. Liam Boyce, not happy. Morale, very unhappy. Um, blah, 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 blah. I know what you can do. You know what? I think we need... Look, we, we, need, we need to start giving Boyce more game time. Simple reason being... Like, we... He is good. He's 70 overall, for God's sake. We cannot. He's fair. We don't want to. We just lost Stephen Humphreys on loan. The last thing we want to do is piss off Liam Boyce. So Liam Boyce is going to start getting more game time. And um, well, Shanklin says the injury behind him. Uh, we'll tell Shanklin. You know what? I am. I'm disappointed, mate. I think Shanklin should be offering us more. So hopefully by letting him know that, he can up his game. But... We need more. We need it now. Up next, we're taking on Aberdeen. They are 12 points ahead of us. This is a massive game. In terms of us catching Aberdeen, you know, if we can win this, we bring the gap down to nine. All of a sudden, nine, nine seems very doable. Nine seems catchable. But if they win, and it goes to 15, then you're thinking, well, 15's a bit of a... So, yeah, no, this is massive. Make no mistake about it. We need to win this match. So, yeah, let's get stuck in. Let's hopefully pick up the three points. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new hearts. There's no handballs in the box. Let's see what we can do. So, here's our lineup then for this big game against Aberdeen today at 10 cast. We're going with Craig Gordon in at Nets. Cochrane, Nielsen, Halkett, Halliday and Atkinson make up the back five. Benjamin and Devlin... In the middle of the park. And up front we're going with Mackay, Shankland and Girelli. Giving Shankland one more chance. If he doesn't deliver here today. Then I think it's fair to say that Liam Boyce will be coming in. And he'll be taking over the number one role up front. As for Aberdeen. They're underperforming yet. They're 12 points ahead of us. So that tells you all you need to know about our season. They're going with Lewis, Colson, McCrory, Stewart. Marquenzi the back four, Ramadani and Barron just in front of those guys then. In the attacking midfield trio, you've got Clarkson, Bishuin and Kennedy. And up front it is Christian Ramirez. He is favoured over Miofsky. So, um, yeah, it's a decent team for Aberdeen. It's strong, but maybe surprised to see Miofsky miss out. But Ramirez is very capable, good player, and we'll have a hands full with him. So, yeah, let's go. Thank you, Castle. It's getting underway. Hearts Aberdeen. Good Ginelli, find Shanklin, Shanklin spins around, he's got Cochrane out wide, Cochrane now crosses it into Ginelli, it's headed away by the Aberdeen defender, and that chance comes to absolutely nothing, oh no Ramirez is through though, what will this come to, hopefully nothing, good defending there by Nielsen, or was it Halkett, I think it may have been Halkett, don't know, but anyway it's Shanklin now, Atkinson, we're getting on the counter here, Nathaniel Atkinson, Back to Cammy Day. It's Devlin looking for Cochrane. It's not a great ball. But it may be a corner it is. So Kennedy runs it out. Won't be a chance here for us to whip this in. Whiffed by Mackay. Let's go for this. It's a good ball for Barry. But no one goes for it, man. What? Right, Halliday. Halkett, the referee. I think we've got... Oh, and it's a handball. I mean, at least it's not... I'm going say that apparently, but... Very frustrating there, just when it looked like we had a shooting opportunity opening up here. Referee deems something a handball. Corner now for Aberdeen, going to take it short. I think Kennedy to Bishouin. Bishouin trying to get the better of Cammy Devlin, but Cammy Devlin won it back. Oh, and then he just sees red. And he might be seeing red in another form here. This time in the form of the referee. I'm hoping not. It's very early in the game. Oh, it's only going to be yellow. Thank God for that. I was panicking. Last thing we want is Cammy Devlin get sent off, but yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was a chance opener up for Aberdeen. I wanted to deny that chance, and uh, that's what my, my, my goal was just to take him out. So, yeah, it kind of worked for us there. Ball into the box, headed away this time by Shankland, headed away by Cochrane. It's going to fall to Barry Mackay. He lays it off to Benjamin. Benjamin going to try and think Barry. Oh, what a ball that is for Benjamin. Barry Mackay chests it down. It's not. Oh, but he gets it back. Oh, and Barry McKay loses it. What the hell was that, man? Two bites at the cherry, and we didn't they fucking eat any of them. What a joke. What an opportunity, man. Barry McKay 
very fortunate there to get two opportunities and he wasted them both man that is unbelievable great challenge for Devlin but no free kick given against him has to be careful he's on a yellow I didn't think it was a free kick Linesman gave it no ball into the box it's time headed away by Halliday falls for Barry Mackay Mackay to Ginelli, Ginelli to Alex Cochrane and now we could be on the attack again Cochrane overruns it but gets fortunate ball breaks for him now what can he do turns back Finds Benjamin, Benjamin to Barry Mackay, Mackay to Cammy Devlin, back to Barry Mackay, chance here looks like it's gone, but Shankland spins around, takes a shot, and it's over the bar. Great challenge for Ginelli, he won't be able to keep that in, but not allowing Aberdeen any time to build up and pass it for the back, that's what I like to see. Ginelli needs to chase this ball down, McCrory to Stewart, they put him under pressure here, but he manages to get rid of it. Uh, and then it's headed towards Ginelli, loads of space, and he fucking blasts it over. What is Josh Ginelli doing there, man? He puffs it, some hot air. I mean, that shot was fully hot air, that's shite, man. He has to be getting out on target. He can't believe it, neither can I. None of us can believe it. Horrendous there for Ginelli. I'll tell you what, I don't know how that's not been a free kick there. I was waiting on them. I was anticipating the free kick. Well, it's not been given. Devlin whips one in. Barry McKay is there. He goes for a shot, but ball doesn't even land as far as that. And Aberdeen are going to try and counter, but Halkett just about gets enough on it, and it's in the back to Nielsen. I'll tell you what, we've played so well here. We've been in control of this match. We have not really allowed Aberdeen anything. And albeit we haven't really taken our chances, but we have controlled this game beautifully. Very happy with how we're playing here. It's Mackay to Benenjami. Bit of space opening up here. It's Benny Benenjami and it's another shit shot. We need to do better. Benenjami can't believe it. It's just we haven't got our shooting boots on the day. Hopefully we can change into them at half time. Because this game is definitely there to be won. And I don't want to see that shot again. It was even worse than I originally thought there. I mean we've done Benny Benenjami dirty there. I mean it was a bad shot. Then he wasn't expecting a replay just to show us how extra bad that shot was indeed there. So... Uh, yeah, I'd rather not see that, but here it is half time at the break. I, like I said, I think we're in control. We've been the better team, but that won't be enough. We need to come away with three points here, right? Us not winning this game, but being the better team won't cut it, right? We need three points. Let's get them in the second half. Well, there was a handball there, but it's not been given against us in the penalty box. It's actually, there's something been given against us outside. So I think it's free kick up at Maybe there must have been a foul or something. I don't know. Ball will come in. It's not actually coming in. It's hit the post. And that, I can't count, surely. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Aberdeen have went for goal with that shot, that, that free kick. They've hit the, the post. And it somehow bounces out and lands for one of their attacking players. It's Ramadani with the goal, with the tap in. That has to be some of the worst luck I have ever seen. How does that even happen? Uh, that is unbelievable. And he smashes it home, I think, just on the line to add insult to injury. Look at that. Oh, man. I don't even want to see it again. I feel fucking sick. Dominated the game, then that happens. Ramadani gives his team the lead. But Benjamin Shanklin spins around. Lauren Shanklin off the crossbar. Benjamin. Oh, the, ca the referees gave a penalty, though. No, he's not. Benjamin's been given offset. Fucking hell, what do we have to do, man? Now, where's our luck? Look at our... They hit the post and get a tap in. We hit the fucking crossbar and we get a foul given against us, man. What a joke. Devlin. Ah, oh, trying to slow it through to Shanklin, but the pass just intercepted. And Nielsen wastes no time. He just takes it. The Aberdeen attacker. I mean, it wasn't last man, so it will only be a yellow. I'm hoping it'll only be a yellow. It has to only be a yellow. And it is, so there you go. It's actually a good foul there for Nielsen. Foul that potentially keeps us in the game. And here we go then. We're bringing on Liam Boyce for Shanklin. Not wasting any more time. 31 minutes to go. Shanklin hasn't done it. We'll see if Boyce can do it. Making the sub. Maybe could have brought them both on, but I've decided, nah. We'll, um, we'll just make the change for a change. Uh, Aberdeen Corner's dealt with, but it's another one now we have to face. And they seem to be taking them short. So almost if they know I can defend. <laughs> I can defend these now. And it's another one. I tell you, this is wasting far too much time. And it's Cammy Devlin we're keep, we keep going out with, man. I don't want to get him a second yellow. This is going to be another one. Can we win this this time? We can, right? Here we go. Counter. Let's go. Counter. Benjamin. 
has to spin around. Oh, he can't lose it there, Benjamin. Halkett, though, will collect it. It's Alex Cochrane. Cochrane to Boyce. Oh, it's back to Cochrane. That's a great ball there from Liam Boyce. And Alex Cochrane has to score. He does. He gets his back on level terms. I'll be honest. Do not rate this guy. I was not expecting him to score. I was in hope more than expectations. But regardless, he gets it done. Gets it in the back of the net. And he gets us right back in the game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to say it's because of that change there. But, it's, I mean, it's a great pass for Boyce. Uh, would Shanklin have made it? I don't know. Boyce was trying to get back in the box. I think Boyce maybe wanted it back, but in the end, Cochrane scores, so we, we can't really complain too much. Uh, the keeper not really covering himself in glory there. Uh, he makes himself as small as he can. He does the opposite of what he should, and I'm glad for it. His heart's won, Aberdeen won. It's Barry McKay. What can Barry do? He's nice wee shuffle there. He finds Benjamin. It's through to Boyce. Boyce off the post. Outside of the post and out, man. What do we have to do to take the lead? Boys can't believe it. Oh, man. Skims the outside of the post and goes past for a goal kick. Boys. Atkinson. Ginelli. Come on. Can this do it? Ginelli spins around. It's odd. Oh, where's Ginelli going here? He's trying to find Liam Boyce. It's headed away. Oh, man. Chance gone. Good tackle, though, by Andy Halliday. But Aberdeen. Come away with the ball for now. It wide. It's back into Ramirez. But that will take care of by Atkinson. Right, here we go. Halkett. Devlin. Inside the boys. Boys now. Boys is going to try and find... Oh, what a ball that is. He's found Devlin. But the, the light... Really, man? I don't think that was offside. We'll see the replay here. I do not think that's offside. Oh, man. That's fucking level. <laughs> Both her feet are fucking behind his. Jesus Christ. That is unreal. Oh, it's good there for Nathaniel Atkinson. Now it's Ginelli to Boyce. Boyce, oh, oh, big heavy touch. Ramirez, good challenge for Halkett. Can he do that? No, he cannot do that. Oh, and Craig Gordon makes a save. That's what you can do, though. Brilliant save by Craig Gordon. Seven minutes to go. We're going to bring on Michael Smith here for Nathaniel Atkinson. We need to defend this corner and then try and get on the attack as quickly as possible. Ball comes in. Smith is there. He heads it away. He's going to give chase to it here. Can Michael Smith somehow get... Oh, he tried. He's been wiped out, though, Michael Smith. Good challenge from Nielsen. Oh, it's a great block. It's a crucial block. And now it's cleared up. Boyce heads it down to Snodgrass. And Snodgrass, he's not got much left here, but he's going to go. He's going to run. He's going to try and find Ginelli. He does find Ginelli. Ginelli. What can Ginelli do? Ginelli back to Snodgrass. Snodgrass. Oh, man. It's a poor ball. For Robert Snodgrass. And it's at the Clarks doing. Great challenge for Halkett, 89 minutes gone. Here we go, ball played up to Snodgrass. Snodgrass now finds Boyce. Can we get something from this? Ewan Henderson's there, he's not making a run though. Four minutes he had it on time. Henderson then picks up the ball once more, finds Haring. Haring. Oh, it's back to Haring. Haring go try and find Boyce. Haring, oh gee, how is that landing the fucking Joe Lewis's hands, man? Seriously, how is that ball landing in Joe Lewis's hands there? Oh, it's Haring, one last chance. Finds Boyce. Ginelli lays it off to Michael Smith, the Rolls Royce. And towards Haring! Oh, Peter Haring! He's done it in the 90th minute, 94th minute, 95 minutes. Peter Haring runs in, corrects the head on it, man. He's wearing that wee stupid bandana. He's wearing that wee stupid hairband. I'll buy him a hundred hairbands. I'll go to fucking Claire's and I'll get him any sort of colour he wants. I'll get him a hundred shade of pinks. He can wear any girly hairbands he wants. He's managed to get his head on that and he has given us a lifeline. He's surely... Stole, well, not stolen, we deserve this, but he surely sealed the uh, the three points for us here today. Peter Haring, the substitute, comes on. Boom. 
absolutely loving life here. Michael Smith jumps on his back. <laughs> oh, it looks like an old man jumping on top of a, a young girl there. That just looks wrong. But anyway, it's Peter Haring's first goal of the season. He celebrates and uh, you love to see it. We have stolen this win. Stolen in terms of coming back from a goal down and, you know, taking the win with, like, literally the last kick. Or well, not even a kick. It was the last hit. touch of the ball because it was a header. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Love to see it. 2 1 win. Doesn't get much better than that. And well deserved as well. Oh man. Could that kick start our season? It could save our season. It really, really could save our season. There's some other results. Don't really know if those results benefit us or not. I've seen that Rangers drew, but they're far. They're way too far ahead of us. I'm not even worried about Rangers. It's more other teams in the league, but we'll see. We'll have a look at league table. We will see what it looks like. There's been an offer for Cameron Devlin, uh, 1 million, and Miguel Morrow. I am going to go and say to that, absolutely fucking no chance. So there you go. Cameron Devlin will not be going to Real Falacano. I'll be keeping him at the club. Thank you very much. And in terms of the star, well, Scottish Cup next. What? <laughs> oh, man, Scottish Cup. Up next, Ten Castle. Well, what a game that'll be. Th this could be our only way in. This could be our only way into Europe. Not only is it a way into Europe, it's a way to actually win some silverware. Something I have never done on FIFA in a YouTube series. So that is my goal. I want to win silverware. I mean, the Cup's the best chance of doing it. Albeit we have to win four games and <laughs> ones against Rangers. But Rangers haven't beaten us in this career. We've played against them twice and our record is currently one win, one draw. So we should go into this game with all the confidence in Scotland. We really should. Uh, but yeah, that win then, we remain in 10th. We knew that, but it gets us close up to the teams above us. It takes us on to 18 points. And all of a sudden now, it's still not where we want to be, obviously. But we're 11 points behind top six. And that just seems more doable than it was before. I say, like I said again, we're going to take it one game at a time. First team I want to try and overtake is Livingston. Then I want to try and overtake St. Johnson. And that's how I plan on doing it. Just try and catch one team at a time. But now, all of a sudden, I think it is looking... It's looking more likely. Is there a cut-off period? Is there teams we can't catch? I'm looking at Dundee United and Hibs uh, with 37 points. We are, what, 19 behind them. It's going to be tough, but I will not give up. I will keep trying. I will go to the very end. But like I said, before we worry about any potential more league games. It's all about the Scottish Cup. We turn our attentions to the Scottish Cup and we turn our attention to Rangers. Here we go then, Scottish Cup, round one, Ten Castle, Hearts versus Rangers. Is this our biggest game of the season? Potentially, if you've given up in the league, then you probably have got all eyes focused on the Scottish Cup. I'm focusing on both though, albeit yeah, we are planning to win the Scottish Cup. I still think we can salvage the league. What do I mean by salvage the league? Well, I'm going to say at least top six. I think we can at least get ourselves into the top six, but it's going to require a shitload of wins, a boatload of wins from here to the end of the season. But we also need a win here today if we want to advance to the quarterfinals, and that's exactly what I want to do. So here we can see our team, we are bringing in Sander Clark over Craig Gordon. Got Michael Smith coming in. Kai Rolls is back from injury. Got Haring who scored the winner in the last game coming in centre back. Ben Benjamin Devlin remain in the middle of the field. And up front we're going with Mackay, Boyce and Ginelli. Boyce now getting a start over Shankland. Just don't think Shankland's been scoring the goals. And if he's not scoring goals then he's no good to us as our, you know, main man up front. So yeah, that's the reason then for that change. As for Rangers... You can see they've got Al McGregor in Nets, Tavernier, Sands, Golden, and Yelmaz, the back four. Then they've got a midfield trio of Lundstrom, Kamara, and uh, the captain Arfield. And up front is Kent, Morelos, and Hadji. So no place for Cholak in the Rangers side. Don't know how I feel about that. Would I rally be up against Cholak? Would I rally be up against Morelos? I don't know. Two different players. I'm hoping our defence can deal with both of them, though, if we need to. Here we go. Liam Boyce about to get us off. About to get us underway in this Scottish Cup game. And we're off. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's take it to the Rangers. And let's get ourselves in to the next round of the Scottish Cup. It's Cochrane. Left-hand side. Plays it to Barry Mackay. And there's Cochrane back to Benjamin. Cochrane's continuing to make the run. We haven't found him though because he stopped. Don't know why he stopped there. I was ready to try and make the pass. Did not happen. Now it's Ginelli. 
Ginelli against Yomas. Ginelli gets the better. Yomas crosses that ball in. It's decent, but there was nobody coming for it. Good ball up to Boyce. Boyce flicks it down, tries to play in. Barry Mackay can't find Barry Mackay, so he finds Ginelli instead. Ginelli trying to get past Yomas, but the Turk defends pretty well on that occasion. And now it's Rangers. Step overs for our field. We've tried to slide in there. We have not won the ball at all. Now it's played it to Hadji, who will keep this in, but he's miles offside. Great challenge from Cammy Devlin, that's what you like to see. And now he's charging into the Rangers half. He's getting away from Arfield. Plays it Michael Smith. Smith looking for options. Has he got any? He's got Boyce. Boyce against Goldson Boyce. Oh, he tries to go past them, but Goldson, good challenge. Great challenge for Haring. Just slides in, wins the ball, albeit yep, Rangers ball got a throw in, but Hart's taking care of the immediate danger. Now it's a ball to Morelos, it's a good interception for Kai Rolls, back to Sander Clark, who's getting a rare start today. I think this is only Clark's second start of the season. I might be wrong with that, but I think I'm right, I think I'm right. It might be his third actually, but what I do know is he hasn't had many. It might be, I think it is his third actually. So yeah, it'd be a good chance to see what he can do. And who knows, can he maybe one day replace Gordon? Well, sooner or later Gordon has to retire. But I wonder if Clark can get the job done before Gordon retires. We'll find out. Good performance today would help. Devlin over to Ginelli. Ginelli whips a ball in. It's Benjamin. He heads it down to Boyce. Oh, Boyce tries to shoot. Oh, no. Come on. No way. No fucking way. It's John Lundstrom at the back post. We've actually put in a good challenge and it just falls for Lundstrom. And he bangs it in. Gives us two fingers as well. I don't know what that's all about. But that shouldn't have been allowed to happen, man. It's, it's very fortunate. He's had you here, just runs right through. Is it fortunate? Or is it actually really bad defending for us? I don't know. I originally thought we got something on it. But it looks like Hadji's actually just passed it to Lundstrom. Yeah, that's seen that on a second. Yeah, no, a second few of that. That was not, that was really bad defending for us. Rangers have a 1-0 lead. It's Kent. Oh, good challenge for Rolls. Kent was trying to beat him. Trying to maybe find Morelos, but we didn't make it happen. Corner for Rangers. Ball whipped in. Rolls has to get the head on that. He does. It falls for Michael Smith. Who takes a heavy touch, but works out for him. And now he's got to try and find Ginelli. And he, he has found Ginelli. Ginelli then gets away for Yilmaz. Ginelli cuts inside, it's good for Ginelli, but it's saved by McGregor. Oh, what a chance that was. McGregor's happy with the save. We're not happy. We are very unhappy, to say the least. Great cut in there, though. Ginelli, brilliant run, brilliant cut in, good shot. McGregor, though, equally up for it with the save. Barry McKay now, can we get a good cross in from this corner? It's decent. It's going to fall for rolls. Heads it back out to Barry McKay. Barry McKay just... Oh, my... Who's that to... Naming at the back post to challenge that. It's offside. It's a handball as well from Kamara. <laughs> but I think that I think it's been given. So I don't know if it's offside or handball. Regardless, it's half time. Uh, we get into the break. 1 0 down. I think we can come back. I mean, it's been a pretty even game. I thought we were. I, at first, I thought we were unlucky to concede that opening goal. But in the end, I looked back at it and it was just really bad defending. But there's been nothing in it, really. We both had one shot each. Ours was from Ginelli. Theirs was from Lundstrom. It, it could easily be level at the break. It's not. But we can still turn it around second half. Benjamin gets away from Lundstrom. Boys back to Benjamin. Benny Benjamin against Tavernier. He's going to look for. He's got Devlin edge of the box, back to Benjamin. He's going to try and maybe find Devlin again. Cammy Devlin held back by Connor Goldson. It's straight into Anzi McGregor. And that's too easy. It's, I don't I think it's offside against Kent. That really should be 2 0. We'll see Morelos got it here. Oh man, he's just off. If, if Morelos times that better, that's 2 0. Because you've got, I think it's, it's it Tillman or Hadji in the middle waiting for the pass. Uh, Kent played him through, but just couldn't time his run, or Morelos couldn't time the pass, regardless. Offside, and we're still in it. Go Cammy Devlin again, finds Boyce, Boyce back to Devlin. Devlin will find Haring, Haring now. Flicks the ball forward. <laughs> Bit unnecessary, but <laughs> it was it was good to look for. It's, it's Barry Mackay, Mackay to Boyce, and uh, Barry Mackay runs into an offside position. 
It's Cochrane now. Cochrane. Go try and find Boyce. Boyce. Oh, heavy touch. Great ball. But Boyce just couldn't bring it down. And Davis is coming on for Sands now. So Ben Davis will feature in this Scottish Cup game. Go Barry McKay. He's got Cochrane. Trying to find him. But Tav is there. And Tav says no. But oh, Barry McKay wins it back. Boyce. To Cochrane, heavy touch, offside given against Boyce, so Boyce can't believe it. Neither can fucking I. Right, two changes, Forrest, Shankland are both coming on here. Haring and Benjamin going off, 18 minutes to go, we're throwing the dice, and we need to roll something good. Oh, Boyce, Boyce plays through Barry McKay, this has to do it, sure, oh no, I've cleared off the line. God damn it, Boyce, back to Alan Forrest, he digs one, and it straightens Ansel McGregor. Jesus, close there, Ferric. I'm sure it should be back on level terms. I cannot believe that. It's Ginelli now. Ginelli to Boyce in the middle of the park. It's Blaine Boyce. Back to Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Shankland. Off the crossbar, man, really? What the fuck do we, we need a goal, man? We just need the ball to cross the line, and at the moment it's not happening for us. Rangers are clear. Rangers come away with it. No, it's on. Oh, Devlin just slides in. I think takes Matondo out. Halkett against oh, Hadji, we could be in a bit of trouble here. Cameron Devlin slides again and he wins it eventually. He concedes the corner, he gets booked for his earlier tackle. That's fair enough, Kent now is coming off the corner for Rangers. Looks like they could be taking it short. Uh, they do take it short, it's Morelos. Oh, it's good there for Ginelli, he wins it and now we need to go on the count. Oh, and Ginelli loses it. I mean, we will get a goal kick, but chance for the counter was on. I think I'm going to bring on Snodgrass for a Devlin's been good, but we need some fresh legs. Ball up over the top to Barry McKay. Who's that making a run? Can we find him? I don't know. It's Boyce. He's played in Shankland instead. It's Shankland. Oh, it's Liam Boyce. He's through to the middle. Boyce! Off the cross, but what? What the fuck did we even hit there? I don't even know. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. Smith holds it up, plays it out to Ginelli. It's out to Forrest, he lays it off to Snodgrass, Snodgrass, his shot is blocked and it could fall for Rangers, it has fallen for Rangers. Fuck, oh, we want to tackle again, boys. It's for Shankland this time, surely. Oh my god, finally. Four minutes to go, we're back on level terms, I cannot believe we hit the crossbar there twice in a, in a space of ten minutes, but... We, we stayed calm, we, we didn't get carried away, and, and Shankland there has got his right back in it. I don't even know the rules. Will this, will this force a replay? Will it go to extra time? Not entirely sure what the rules are in FIFA, but lovely strike there for Shankland. It goes in the back of the net, and who knows? Maybe we can even win it. Three minutes to go. We've been the better team in this second half, so let's go and try and you know take advantage of that and, and get, the, get the win done and dusted in 90 minutes. Oh, it's intercepted by Forrest. What a crucial interception that could prove to be. Forrest just got his legs on it now. It's Ginelli. Ginelli's going to try and get past Yilmaz. And he's got the pace. He does get past Yilmaz. He's got a man in the middle here. Ginelli to Forrest. Forrest turns back. Still Forrest. Shoots. And he wins absolutely nothing. I can't even believe that. Ah, oh, chance for Forrest. I mean, surely that was a free kick. Or, I mean, surely it was a corner. But no. And you see Shanklin's finish again there. Brilliant. McGregor, not going to get anywhere near that. And uh, this probably will do it here. Since this ball's launched up, I expect the whistle to go. Maybe we've won it though. Oh man, we were going to be in a position there. We won the header, but it's the referee blows for the whistle. And I believe we are not going into extra time. It's going to be a replay. So it looks like we'll be going to Ibrox. I mean, Rangers had one shot the entire game. And, and they got a goal from it. We had eight shots and we, we couldn't win, you know. I'm, I'm happy we didn't lose. It's, you know, it's we, we lived to fight another day, essentially. But, man, we should have won that game. We, we should have won that game 100%. But we didn't. Only got ourselves to blame. And we'll have to bounce back. It's another game that added to the fixture list as well. So, yeah, we just don't have, we just don't have the squad for all these games. Got an email from Ireland that they want us to be their manager and I would rather eat dog shite. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to say no to the Republic of Ireland job. Uh, Wales want us to take over there. I mean, I'd rather shag sheep than manage Wales as well. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and reject that also. Players suspended Cameron Devlin. 
Looks like he's going to miss a match then for too many yellow cards in terms of player chats. We've got here Connor Smith wants to play a game. Kai Rolls, Boyce. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to all these guys. I mean, yeah, Car Connor Smith wanted to play, but it was a big game. Can you really bring him in against Rangers? I don't know. Maybe we'll try and get him on the bench. Um, in the future, and he can come on and make a sub appearance if we have a game done and dusted. Although it's not, how often do we have games done and dusted? Not very often. So that cup game, the rematch has been arranged for the first of February. And look at our fixture list: first of February, we've got Rangers, Motherwell, Dundee Red, Celtic, St. Uh, St. Mirren. It's no easy, but we're not done with January. <laughs> and look at this: we've got Hibs and Rangers to, to end off January. That's going to be insane. We've got Hibs on the midweek game, Wednesday, twenty fifth, and then Rangers on the Saturday, the uh, the twenty eighth. Both away. We have to travel to Easter Road, have to travel to Ibrox, and we have to get wins. We need to win those games, so that's going to be incredible. Can I wait for the next match, guys? Can I wait for the next episode? Big, big, big games ahead with Hibs and Rangers in our sights. Anyway, that will do it, guys. Until then, being South Scotland 90, leave a like, leave a comment. Last but not least, Joel Nubley, should I attempt to sign him? We're in the January transfer window, I am thinking of bringing in maybe one or two players. We're light up front, especially with Humphreys going back to Wigan. Do we give Nubley an opportunity? He's a strong, powerful man, pretty big as well, six foot four. He would offer us a lot of height, he would offer us a big physical presence. I am considering signing him, but what I'll do is, I'll put it up for a poll on the channel. If you go to the community section of the Sun of Scotland 90 YouTube page, you will see the option to vote for this. It'll be a FIFA 23 poll, Joel Nubley, and if you select yes, if the majority of people want me to sign Nubley, I will do my best to get him in the next episode. If not, then we will not get Nubley. We will maybe go in a di different direction, or we will maybe just look to keep our money, and uh, I don't know, maybe sign players in the summer instead of doing a panic buy. Not that I think Nubley's a panic buy, but I do, I do think we could do with another option up front. I mean, we're kind of okay because we only play one up front, but... In games, if we did want to play two up front, you play Boyce and Shankland, and then, then after that, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck. You're kind of you're kind of missing, you know, an attacking edge. So I think Nubley would give us that. He gives us something different. He gives us something that really Boyce and Shankland do not. So if you want to see Nubley in a maroon shirt, if you want to see Nubley be a Jambos, vote yes. If you don't, vote no. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll be it. Catch you tomorrow for the next episode of the Hearts Cremo. Till then, though. Peace.